Coldest air of the season. And remember, last Thursday into Saturday morning was quite a temperature drive, dive, and drive. We're going to do it again this week. Thursday's high, tomorrow's high near 70, and we go all the way down into the upper 20s by Saturday morning. Cold front's coming, and it is going to work on us. Outside today, no complaints in my book. Mostly sunny skies, temperatures into the 60s, and that's where we are about right now. Upper 50s, low 60s, very comfortable considering it's the first week of November. Still getting used to that sun being almost down and it being dark already. Me too. Temperatures will drop down to 52 by 8 o'clock. It'll be chilly tonight, a little colder than it was uh, this morning. We'll keep skies mostly clear. We'll, we'll keep it dry with temperatures falling all the way down to about 40 degrees by tomorrow morning. So high pressure in control. The big story the rest of this week is the approaching cold front. There it is up in the northern plains right now bringing them snow. For us, it is rain only, and most of it's coming overnight tomorrow night into Friday morning. So most of us will sleep through the rain and not even see it, but we will all feel the cold air. Let's talk about the rain first of all. Let me get you through the day tomorrow. I've got no concerns with precipitation. It's dry. Here we are at 7 a.m. It starts off sunny. We will increase the clouds throughout the day. By lunchtime, we'll call it partly cloudy. And then mostly cloudy to overcast by Thursday night. So 24 hours from now, we will have mostly cloudy skies, but it's still dry. Notice as the maps continue to go into motion, I'm going to stop it at 10 o'clock tomorrow. A little bit of rain coming in from the northwest ahead of the cold front, just starting to push into our area. So, again, some of us asleep, 2 a.m., we're in bed, it's still raining, we get up and leave for work, 6 and 7 a.m. Friday, the rain is gone, the front is through, we have cleared out, and it's going to feel a lot colder on Friday. But the coldest time will come Saturday morning. Look at what's going to happen over the next couple of days. This morning when he left for work and school, it was about 50 degrees. It'll be colder tomorrow, Thursday about 40. It'll be about the same Friday morning. Friday, though, temperatures are not going to warm up much at all. We're not going to get out of the 40s most likely. And then the coldest morning will be Saturday morning at 28 degrees. I hope your heater's working. I hope you've made the wardrobe change because it's about to get colder than it's been all season long. But tomorrow, looking pretty good. We're still mild. That rain doesn't come until late tomorrow night, so the day is dry. The rain will be before the sun comes up Friday, so the day is dry, but drastically colder. 48 degrees for a high. Then only 28 Saturday morning. We expand to the seven-day forecast, and the weekend will be dry, chilly on Saturday, a little bit warmer on Sunday, still freezing Sunday morning. Most of us off work and school Monday for Veterans Day, 64 degrees. Another cold front with another shot of cold rain on Tuesday. And as we go from your 7 to exclusive 10-day forecast, there comes a second shot of cold air next Wednesday and Thursday. Again, highs in the 40s next Wednesday and Thursday morning. Another shot of temperatures in the 20s. So we weren't we just talking about warm Octobers and we were. It's not going to be warm November. No, 